this is how we integrate OpenAI with Bubble IO. First things first, on the Bubble app, we need to install a plugin. But quickly, I've just added a few elements. I have an input element, a button, and a text for the response. First things first, go to the plugin section, and we want to add the API connector. Add another API, API name, open AI, everything else is fine for now. And then on Google, we want to go into open AI documentation, press that, API reference. For this, you need to make an open AI account first and foremost, get set up with that, and then resume with this tutorial. In the API reference, we want to go to endpoints here, chat, create chat completion. On the right here is all the stuff we need. Make sure it's selected as curl. And then what we can do is copy in the top right corner. This is a lot easier than individually typing out the content type, application JSON, authorization, all that. You can copy it and paste it in and Bubble reads it and already pre-fills it for you. So press copy. Import another curl from call from curl. Press that. Then we want to paste in and see how my type is on a new line here, my cursor. Hit backspace. You must hit that for it to work. I don't know how many times I haven't done that. And yeah, it's just frustrating. So hit backspace, hit import. And as you can see, it's filled out all the headers for us, the body, everything there. So where we have the authorization here, this value right here needs to be changed. So back in the API reference, on the left-hand side, we're gonna to go to API keys and we need to create a new secret key. So I'll name this for YouTube, create secret key. Make sure to copy this straight away as it'll only display one time and you can only copy it one time. So back we go. Where this value is, highlight all that, paste that in there. Tick private on both. And then we scroll down to the body, the JSON here. We need to quickly do something. So the role, the system, the content, you are a helpful assistant, basically telling the GPT what it is. But every user may have a different content, so different things they want answered or something different. So we need to add dynamic values here. So we want to highlight all this backspace. And as you can see right here, the two open brackets, you need to do this, so hit that. Simple name for the tutorial's sake, prompt. Hit that. And then this will appear in the bottom here, as you can see. And we'll give it a random value. We'll just say, make me a recipe for fried chicken. Simple as that, untick, private. Initialize call here. Couldn't pass the JSON, which means if we go up here, users data, we need to make that sure that is users action. Scroll back down. Initialize call. Still not working. So we want to scroll up here. I'm just gonna see why that is not working. Oh, because of this. Okay, so expand. Delete that one. So then we only have the open AI call and the curl call there. So this one should work now. Still not. Oh, my fault. Because we've removed the quotes here, we need to add in quotes here. So quote marks here and here, it's my fault. This will work now, guaranteed. Okay, if we can see it's connecting to the OpenAI, bang, this is our return call. 
show raw data as it's easier to reference and read. So this is a response from OpenAI. Here's a simple recipe for delicious fried buttermilk chicken. All the ingredients, everything you need in there, instructions. Make sure to hit save, otherwise this will not save and it won't work. Hit save on that, save again. Okay, now how do we actually display this? So input, what do you want to cook? We need to do something here. We need to add a workflow, go into the plugin section, and now you will see our open AI call. Press that, the body prompt. So this is the prompt that's gonna be shown. So we have make me a recipe for, for fried chicken. That was for example's sake. Obviously we don't want that. We want whatever the user inputs. So insert dynamic data, input, what do you want to cook value? That's that. Next step, we need to create a custom state to save the return value of whatever the user inputs. So we need to set state of an element. Element will be the index page. I like to do that as it's easy to reference and just uh, yeah, a lot easier than setting it on the individual element. The custom state, I'll delete that. The custom state will be called AI response. State type will be of text. Create that there. And the value will be the result of step one, as you can see here. Choices. First item, message content. Just like that. So the result of step one, so we're making the call to open AI, that's the result of step one. Choices, first item, message content. So we only want the first item, we only want to display one item that's returned from ChatGPT. So if I was to say I want a chicken recipe, we want one recipe, not two, three, four, or five. So that's what that means. Now how do we display this? Back here, delete that. We have a text element here. What we need is to reference the custom state. So index, which is what we save the custom state to, as I said before, indexes, AI response, and that is it. Indexes AI response. So we have the input here, which will be the body prompt back here. So we're referencing the what do you want to cook's value, which is the input. Then we hit generate recipe, makes the call to open AI. We set the state of the page. We save the value and then we display it in this text, ele text element here. So if I hit preview here, and then I was to, what do you want to cook? I was to say, uh, chicken curry, generate. Now, if we go back, it's returning an error, which means we have done something not quite right here. But I don't know why that is not working. Um, uses action, yes. Let's change this to recipe. Okay, I'll go back, refresh. Make me a recipe for chicken curry. Let's see. Okay, back on here, we need to add quote marks and we can remove them from our prompt value. 
Now this should work if I refresh this. Make me a recipe for chicken curry. Generate. Here we go. That was my fault, guys. I'm sorry. You need to add quote marks. It needs to be in JSON. So, yeah, that's my fault. Make me a recipe for chicken curry. As you can see, it's returned everything that we need. Ingredients, instructions, nice, simple. It was very quick, very easy. And integrating OpenAI is truly game-changing when it comes to software and development. It really will change how apps are developed and how we just operate as people. So thank you for watching. And if you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe. There'll be plenty more to come in the future. Thank you.